Just wanted to do a little quick video here. I had some people asking why I took down the video about the Pope making it mandatory for all members of the Vatican to uh, get the microchip implant thing. And uh, the reason I took it down, which a lot of you already know about this, uh, the source that I was quoting was a phony website. You know, I guess I have to research my research now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's insane. I was not aware of that. Uh, definitely I didn't try to deceive anybody with that. It was just, I never heard of that. And uh, I thank you to everybody out there that, that told me and said, hey, you know, Brian, it's a false story. But uh, I found it very interesting because, you know, the fact is I had a brother contact me through private message and he said, the fact is that the Vatican already is requiring RFID. You know, they did that back in two thir 2013. I think it was under Benedict or something. I mean, it's, so it's, it's already, you know, that story actually was telling the truth, but they brought it out and spun it as, you know, satire, as this fictional type of a thing. And I've seen this now a couple times. This, uh, there's a couple different news agencies that are just trying to make spoofs on reality, really. And I think it's part of the, the whole mind control thing of these last days where somebody hears truth and they go, you know, you know, that's ridiculous because it came from a satire organization, you know. So, just kind of weird, but, you know, I'm very careful about the sources that I use. And, and the brother that sent it to me, he wasn't trying to deceive me or anything else. And, you know, I know his heart and everything. He's a good man. Um, he was just duped like I was. And uh, so, I apologize for putting that thing out. Like I said, it was not intentional. It was not a... That I was trying to deceive anybody. That's why I took it down. And of course, the other two stories, you know, the Jesuit Father General saying that they want to use technology, you know, basically the Jesuits are very interested in technology being used to control people. And that story, and then also the king or the the uh, king of Bahrain meeting with Pope Francis and saying, let's all work for diversity and tolerance, religious tolerance, and all that. That was a legitimate story. And so I really wanted to leave this, the thing up because of those two other stories that I put in there, but I thought, I can't. So that's why the story was taken down. That's why that video, excuse me, was taken down. Um, I'm just very careful about not putting things like that out. Uh, so, but, you know, does that mean that the Pope is not for RFID implants in people? No, of course not. And, of course, you see his minions like John MacArthur saying that there's nothing in Scripture condemning the mark of the beast. As far as you have to take it and you can be forgiven later on you know so just uh just want to explain that and uh, uh there definitely will be more and more moves in this direction and of course you know the bible thing of take heed that no man deceive you uh, the deception is just going to keep getting worse and worse and so um i'm going to try to be a little bit more careful this next when i refer to news sites and things like that but uh, thank you to everybody out there that told me about it do appreciate that so that's gonna be it for this video